What's up today, my fellow mass soldiers? So what I'm gonna get into right now is I'm gonna do an update on the best Kims in ability. I'm not really necessarily gonna be speaking on best Kims in ability, but what I will be speaking on is updating it from the last one I did because I had a lot of comments when it comes to uh, the abilities and Kims, and people were talking about how they activated go deep 30 at 30 and they weren't getting the boost in OVR. So I wanna clarify something. I wanna actually show you guys what's going on with my squad and the reason why my squad is so boosted up just to give you an idea of what's taking place and just know even if you have 30 out 30 go do don't mean that your players automatically gonna get boosted up in ovr they will get blue kims so i want to just clarify everything right now to me they're the best kims in the ability because they do a lot more for your team especially for your qb when it comes to uh deep accuracy deep accuracy throw and other stuff and when it comes to deep route running for your uh, receivers so without further ado let's go ahead and get into it one thing I want to stress, because I have so much Kims and ability delta on my squad, and if it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't be a 96 OVR, and my def my offense wouldn't especially be a 97 OVR right now, because as you can tell, I'm a 97 on my offense. The reason why my team is so effective at, at boosting up in their OVR are getting a lot of blue Kims, because remember, I got John Madden, I got the Cowboy um, Balance O maxed out, I got so much Kims, I got Sprinter. So what I'm going to do for you guys right now is I'm going to go to my actually team strategy i'm gonna take out john madden and i'm gonna take out the cowboy cams just so you know that so with john madden we're just gonna remove him okay so it's not allowing me to remove him i, I just gotta actually switch him out for another i was just trying to remove him so all right so we're just gonna put a code we'll put this guy in we'll just put we'll just put whatever because none of these guys none of these uniforms or whatever has chemistries or abilities so I'm going to put these uh, uniforms on and the coach on. They don't have no Kims or abilities. So you can actually see on my squad what works and what don't. When it comes to just go deep and zone run and so forth. Because that, that's another reason I'm doing this video. Is because when I first did the video. Um, and the best Kims and ability. I only had go deep and lockdown maxed out. I didn't have actually zone run maxed out. Um, and also pass rush. So now I got four different Kims just on that alone maxed out. I got pass rush, lockdown zone run and go deep so now look at all my extra kims and abilities are off besides sprinter um i got all my cowboy kims off as well as john madden out of here so now we're gonna see what works okay based on that and we're gonna we're gonna go through it just because i want to be more effective when i come to breaking down what i'm breaking down so as you could tell there's no kims besides go deep zone run or the sprinter that's on the players and sprinter only does so much when it comes to actually boosting up ovr it'll do uh here and there so anyways, so as you could tell, Michael Irvin still boosted up. Terrell Owens still boosted up to a 98. And the main reason for that is because they have the go deep on them. Where's the go deep at? Here we go. We got we got 34 out of 30, but we're maxed out though. So they're boosted up in OVR because of, because of the go deep is maxed out as well as my, my, my QBs, okay? But just so you guys know, I want to clarify something. As you could tell, Tory Holt is no longer boosted up. And blue kim when it comes to his ovr so not all your receivers are going to get boosted up some may not get boosted up at all however they still will have the blue cup blue kim on their card that's one thing i want to clarify on their card they still will they still will have the blue kim on them okay but not all your receivers always get boosted up but as you can tell my receivers my two receivers still boosted up they're the only two just michael uh terrell owens and michael Irvin, the only two boosted up okay none of my linemen are boosted up no more and I have a zone run as well as go deep on them. Both of my quarterbacks is one thing that I noticed year after year when it comes to the go deep, when you have it maxed out or whatever the case may be, the quarterbacks are the first one to get boosted up. For some reason, um, it affects them more. The receivers are like kind of secondarily. So as long as my QBs are, are, are boosted up the way, the way it is, especially going up in OVR, I'm happy with that because they're the ones that have to get the ball to the receiver. So Peyton Manning, because his throw, throw actually deep is only a 90T, not 90T, a 92. Um, it boosted up even more because I think like times three because of the go go deep. That's why I like to, that's why it's called go deep. So that's why I like to get it. It actually helps my squad out. So I always like to get the go deep every year. Um, zone run, it boosts up my halfbacks. It didn't boost up Marshall Lynch, but it boosted up Ezekiel Elliott as well as Emmitt Smith. So I'm happy with that, okay? You see when I had the actual John Madden as well as the Cowboy Kims on Emmitt Smith, I got boosted up two OVRs. I'm only boosted up one 
Um, that's just how it is when it comes to zone run. Usually, they'll all will be boosted up. I don't know why Marshawn Lynch isn't boosted up, but he's not. He does got zone run on him, but these two are. That's just the way it works, so keep that in mind. Some of you guys may not get none of them, but you guys actually got to go on your player, look on your player to see what they really need. You might have players to where you may not need to use zone run. You may need to use West Coast offense or, or these other uh, play fake or whatever the case may be when it comes to these other Kims and abilities that you got to experiment with. Cause you don't know what players you have and what they, um, you have and what they what they could be used for. Marshawn Lynch, he could probably use another ability or Kim. They'll actually boost him up. But I'm not even tripping on that because I'm not gonna have him on a squad that long. But everything else is working for me. Like I said, take your uh, take, um, just take down what I have and take into consideration. But like I said, every team is different. The players are different. Um, the abilities and Kims and he go on them are different, like I said, but not every single buddy is going to be boosted up, but you will have those who will be boosted up. So remember, I got go deep on me as well as zone run maxed out, and some of my offensive line either got go deep or zone run. Okay, when I have John Madden and my Cowboy Kim, most of them get boosted up in OVR. Right now, you can tell they're not. So it is what it is. I'm cool with that because I know the stats are still on them. They still got blue Kims on them on their card. So let's go to the next one. So on this one right here, I got locked down. I got locked down, maxed out, as well as pass rush. When I did the first video, when it came to the best Kims and abilities, I didn't have uh, pass rush maxed out. I only had lockdown. So now I got both of them maxed out. And as you could tell, see, I put pass. I had lockdown on Kelly Mack. He didn't boost up in OVR. It didn't go good with him. So I realized that. So I put pass rush on him. He not only did he boost up in OVR, he's a monster on my squad. So that's why I was trying to tell you guys, you got to experiment because. You may have a cornerback that they might not get, 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 get put lockdown on him, and he might not. He, it, it might not be effective with him. For some reason, you put pass rush or something else on him, it might boost up in OVR. So majority of my players on on defense are boosted up in OVR because of lockdown or pass rush. Okay, so that's one thing that I will say. Not all of them though, as you could tell, my defensive tackles didn't get uh, boosted up in OVR, and they got they got a uh, pass rush uh, maxed out. But I do want to point out to you guys. A big reason why is because I have Sprinter, I have Sprinter on my my D line as well as I have Sprinter on my whole whole squad, so it takes away the strength. So I think if I were to add like Brawler or something to them and they they get plus strength, I think they would actually go up. So I'm later on, I'm probably gonna experiment. Later on, I'll probably experiment when it comes to the the brawler and stuff i don't know i'm still debating how i'm gonna do it but whatever whenever i do i'll go ahead and i'll bring you guys a video and i'll show you how it works on my team some people already got it it's good for their squad but i do like sprinter because the acceleration but as you can tell my d tackles ain't so on all my cornerbacks my safeties and um some of my linebackers i got locked down and when it comes to my the pass rush i got on all my d line of course as well as some of my linebackers like kelly mack when it comes to the pass rush and then show you right here so pass rush 30 out of 30 locked down 33 out of 30 so that's why i boosted up my squad but like i said the big reason i want to do this video is because i didn't have them i didn't have pass rush and lockdown both activated at the same time and another thing i had john madden in that last time as well as my cowboy kims on the uh on my team strategy so now i took out everything so you could tell all this is just zone run I mean, all this is just uh, lockdown, pass rush, and then I have Sprinter on my squad that's helping boost up these uh, Kims. So I just wanted to uh, let you guys know that, show you guys that firsthand. So if you guys want to make the decision and do it, you see what I have on my squad. I don't. I, I, I took out the John Madden and all that for now just to show you guys, okay? So you can see it right here. I got Sprinter. I got the Cowboy Kim. So like I said, I'll probably go, uh, I'll go back and mess around with Brawler, see what I could do with it. But uh, like I said, it's going to take some time. And once I do, I'll bring it to you guys. I'll probably add it on as, I, as I'm doing a video just to show you guys what works and what don't. But for now, on my offense, I got go deep, zone run. You've seen it with their maxed out. And on my defense, I got locked down and pass rush fully maxed out. Okay? So special teams and all that. It's just still special teams. Specialists. And then if you look at the team strategy. I have no Kims on these uniforms. So the only thing maxing out is what I have on them. So I just wanted to show you guys that. I wanted to update you because I know people were saying they look at man. I got 30 out of 30 this. None of my squad is uh, is, is blue Kimmed up in OVR. I got an extra boost in OVR. So I wanted to clarify what I got on my squad or what's working for me. If it's not working for you or some of your players don't got it. None of them, if none of your players got it, I would recommend for you honestly to experiment with another Kim. Because 
at least one or two of your players should be boosted up in OVR. Because if none of them's not, then I don't think that that's the best kim for your squad. You see what I'm saying? So if for some reason go deep and boosting up none of your players in OVR, I would at least recommend you to try West Coast or or West Coast. They got Play Fake and so forth and some other ones. I would recommend you to try experiment with that. At least you get your your training all that back when it comes to taking it off your your squad. Okay. So I will say that, especially with pass rush and lockdown. If that's not working for you and you're not getting no type of OER boosted up, I would try experiment with another with another ability or Kim. Because like I said, they should at least one of your, at least one of your players should be boosted up in OVR. I mean, as you can tell, mine are. So that's what would I say about that. Um, when it comes to your abilities, I'm gonna be real quick about that. I would recommend people who run a defense have one of your safeties with enforcer. Okay, have have one of your halfback. I mean, not your halfbacks. Have one of your D linemen with uh, with uh, edge threat. And have one of your middle line. I have both of my safeties with with uh, enforcer. I'm, that's why I like it. But for those who don't want to put both of them on your safety, it's cool. At least have one of them. And on one of your linebackers, I would encourage you to find someone who gets enforcer. That's what I will encourage you when it comes to your abilities. That's what I'm gonna say. That's what's been effective for me. And that's what I'm gonna share with you guys. When it comes to your offense, the best abilities that I will say to get is when it comes to a pocket passer, get hot rod master and identifier. When it comes to a mobile quarterback, get get a with escape artist as well as something else that you figure that will go with it, like uh, making sure he has throw um, throw on the run, he can't get picked off and stuff. There's abilities I think like dead eye something. They got other stuff like that, but the main thing with the mobile one, of course, is going to be the escape artist. When it comes to your uh, I, I really don't miss the lineman right now. I got something on Zach Martin, but I will encourage you to get one on the receiver and one on your um, one on your your halfback. On your halfback, of course, get evasive, and anything else is gonna boost up. The reason why I say evasive is because you get perfect uh, faster spin moves as well as juke moves, and it makes a big difference in the game. You guys already know that. And for some reason, if you don't get evasive, get juke jukebox. That will help out just as effective. And if you don't have a QB that, that's gonna do that. I will say find one to find. I mean, halfback that got it. I will say find a halfback that gets the jukebox or evasive. I will say that when it comes to Michael Irvin, I mean Michael Irvin. Was when it comes to your wide receivers, if you look at put it like this, if you have a, a QB that's mobile, then I will say get get one of your receivers that has one of those, like you know how it has like a like deep route specialist. You know, it's not deep route specialist, but one of those. Let me see what the, he has. Like post route, post flag elite, get in post elite. I would say get one of these. I would say, wait, wait, I think he has a better one, right? Anyways, I'll say I'll get one of these because when he's at the line, you're able to say better, oh, not better route running. Yeah. Better route running and catching up. No, 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 no. All right, four additional hot routes when lined up in the slot. So I'll get something like this to where you're able to, to alter the way you're going to, the way you're going to uh, run your route that you couldn't do if you didn't have that. See, if you have a pocket passer, I will encourage you to get one of your receivers with one of these abilities. If you don't, if you if you do have a pocket passer, then I wouldn't even worry about this. You see what I'm saying? Because your hot rod master it, it directs all your receivers. That's why I like a pocket passer because they get hot rod master, and I don't have to worry about putting abilities on my receivers because the hot rod master does it all. But if you do have a mobile quarterback, at least I'll recommend you guys to at least get one of your wide receivers with one of those abilities that you could actually direct them on a different route when it comes to um, the route that they run, okay? So I'm gonna leave it right here. If you guys want me to clarify anything, put it in the comment section. I just wanted to update you on from the last uh, video that I did when it comes to best Kims and abilities. So I wanna give you an update and show you actually what works in my squad and what don't without John Madding and the other extra Kims and abilities, okay? So I'm gonna leave it right here. If you guys like what you've seen, drop a like. If you guys need subs, sub to the channel. There will be more great, amazing content coming your way. Thank you guys all for tuning in. I'm